All right, if our WRT were five hours, five plus two is seven, oh God. Here on Quitna, we're big fans of Fortnite, and we just became even bigger fans because Fortnite just announced that if users enable something called two-factor authentication, they will actually unlock a new kind of user dance. Now, I can't dance, but uh, I brought somebody who here who can. So, Sorel Joppy, welcome to Quitna. Let's uh, learn Thanks, about man. that new dance. Okay, cool. Thanks for having me on the show. Well, of course, welcome. I was at my desk, not my business. Okay, cool. So, here we go, right? So, um, it's all about the hips, right? So, you just move these hips side to side. Let's just work on that first. Right, side to side. Right, left, right, left, right. Extend these arms off. Mm, that's right? that, that's not the dance. Bow. That, that's the old one. Mm. That's the old dance. That's not the dance. What you mean? It's the old dance. <laughs> that's the old dance. That's the floss. We want the new dance. What's the new dance? The two-factor authentication dance. What's the two-factor authentication? I'm glad you asked. Let's find out. So Sorel, I mean, while you're here, you might as well help with uh, this quit now. Might as right? well. All right, so uh, let's talk about uh, two-factor authentication. Remember that A, what we're talking about is authentication. That's all about proving who you are. So in conjunction with kind of claiming an identity, well, that's not proof. We actually have to prove it. So typically authentication comes in three different flavors. We have type one, which is something you have. No, no. Type two, something you are wrong, have. And type three, something you uh, are. 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 Okay, so we have type one, type two, and type three. I know, Sorel, you're just being silly. You already know all this stuff. That's so true. let's uh, do this. Let's have you walk down, walk through A, B, C, and D. Mm -hmm. And to do that, let's kind of switch places real quick, okay? All right. Which of the following is an example of a two factor authentication? So let's see what we have here. So we have A, which is a password that will obviously fall under type one for something that you know. Then we have a pen, which will fall under something that you know as well. So it's two forms of authentication, but mm -hmm. it's not two factor because we're looking for two forms across two types. Exactly, makes sense, All right? Moving on to B. So we have a password, obviously again, that falls under something that you know. Mm -hmm. And then we have a challenge question. So a challenge question will fall under something that you know as well. So to give you an example of a challenge question, it would be like, if you forget your password and they ask you a question like, um, what's your mom's maiden name? Mm, she really had a maiden name. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why. It's kind of weird, but she did. It's a little weird to me. Okay, cool. Um, what, was, what was the name of the street that you, that you grew up on? I grew up on a boat, so not really. I grew up on a street. Grew up on a boat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not even gonna ask. Why are you laughing? I'm not gonna ask. I'm not laughing. I'm not even gonna ask. Okay. 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 All right. Cool. So obviously, both of these fall under <laughs> something that you know. Cool. Moving on. So we get to see, and we have a thumbprint, right? So a thumbprint will obviously fall under something that you are. So that's boom. And then we have a TOTP, which is a time-based one-time password. It's something that's given to you, uh, like a code that's sent to you mm -hmm. in the form of a password that you have a certain amount of time to use, and that will fall under something obviously that you have. Wow, would you look at that? Across two platforms, right? Cool. So then we have the last one, and we have a smart card, which is something that you have. Yeah, good job. So then you have it up here. And then we have a HOTP, one-time password. I know that stands for. What is the H? The H is actually for HMAC, which is like a hashing algorithm. So HMAC, one-time password. It sounds like a 90s R&B group, right? <laughs> something that you have, right? So that would fall under something that you have as well. So obviously that wouldn't <laughs> work. So... That leaves us to just C, which is a thumbprint and T-O-T-P. Nice. So now we can unlock the two-factor authentication dance. Oh, you ready? <laughs> I'm ready. Let's do it. Woo! Look at the camera, yeah. <laughs>